Hello viewers and welcome to our channel, 5 Best Pick. When buying any products, it can be challenging to find the most value for money item. To make your purchase decision easier, in this video we picked only the best tools by comparing hundreds of products based on a few criteria and ranked them. For example, features of the product, manufacturer's reputation, value for money, and most importantly, user feedback. If you choose from this list, you can be rest assured that you are buying the best product. Please do check the product link in the description box below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to enjoy more awesome contents like this. So, without any delay, let's get started. Our number one pick is DeLonghi EC 680M Espresso. With small space, big favor this machine is just 6 wide, the narrow design takes up half the space of typical manual espresso machine. In stainless steel, the space-saving size packs bold flavor and style in a compact package. 15 bar professional pressure assures quality results, with adjustable controls for personal preferences. The Dedicate is compatible with either ground coffee or ready-to-brew SA pods. Dedicate brews one or two rich, Aromatic shots of espresso at the touch of a button and features a manual steam one that froths milk for lattes, cappuccinos, macchiato and more. The machine does the work for you. The automatic flow stop feature dispenses just the right amount of espresso, taking out the guesswork. Saving design with a sleek profile, compact design and narrow footprint, each model fits beautifully on a kitchen countertop, without taking up too much space. For details, let's watch more. Our second best espresso machine for home is Breville Best 920XL Boiler Espresso. The Breville Best 920XL Dual Boiler offers commercial features and performance, in a domestic footprint. Espresso perfection requires precision temperature and pressure control, consistently, every time. At the heart of this machine is its dual stainless steel boiler heating system. The espresso boiler, for the espresso shot, is PID temperature controlled, while a separate steam boiler offers instant and powerful steam on demand. So you can extract your shot at the right temperature, delivering optimal flavor, while simultaneously steaming your milk to cafe quality. What's more, there is another element in the group head, ensuring the entire system maintains a consistent temperature. The dual boiler also features an overpressure valve, OPV, which limits the maximum pressure throughout the extraction, preventing bitter flavors in the shot. It also offers a true low-pressure pre-infusion, which gradually increases the pressure to gently expand the grinds for an even extraction. But there's much more to this machine for the coffee geek. Brew temperature and pre-infusion pressure and duration are all programmable. For details. Third choice in our list is Breville BNV 250 Crow 1 Book 1 Espresso. Nespresso introduces the Virtuo for the ultimate brewing experience. Offering freshly brewed coffee with crema as well as delicious, authentic espresso, the Virtuo machine conveniently makes five cup sizes. They are Alto Coffee, Coffee, Brand Lungo, Double Espresso, and Espresso, all at the touch of a button. Nespresso brings together the know-how of all its coffee experts, who have carefully chosen the origin and roasting of each coffee blend and created a new brewing system using centrifusion technology, a patented extraction technology developed by Nespresso. Just insert a capsule and close the lever, when activated, the capsule spins up to 7000 rotations per minute, 
blending ground coffee with water and producing the perfect crema to enjoy quality coffee in larger cup sizes. The machine delivers the optimal in-cup results for each blend using capsules specific brewing with barcode reading. Number 4 in our side is Gaja RI9380 Espresso. The Gaja Classic Pro improves on one of the best entry-level semi-automatic espresso machines available. The commercial Steam One lets you texture milk for a velvety microfoam, perfect for making latte art like you might find at a coffee house. The heavy-duty chrome-plated brass commercial-style 58mm portability includes a commercial single and double-shot filter basket for pulling expert espresso, and a pressurized basket for use with pre-ground coffee or essay pods. The updated design offers a more modern look, with improved pump mounts for quieter brewing. For details, let's watch more. Today I'm going to show you how to make a flat white on a Gaja Classic Pro. This is the newest model with a manual steam on. So also what I'm going to be using today, uh, a Barazza Sete 270 grinder. Um, really like this grinder, nice fluffy grind. The coffee I'll be using, Maroma's Orfea. It's a nice Italian style bean blend, makes a lot of crema. So let's go ahead and get started. So you always want to leave your portafilter locked in so it's warm. So I've got that. I'm going to take that. Now I've already dialed in my coffee and I know to get about 17 grams, it's four seconds on the Sete 270. So I'll just press the button there. Really like this grinder, nice fluffy grinds there. Um, I'm gonna use a jack leveler to uh, compress and level out my coffee. Just lay that in there and spin that. Really like the jack here. It's got an adjustable, easily adjustable depth. Very nice, easy to use, and you can see makes a really nice level uh, compression of the coffee there. So we'll lock that in. I'm using a, yeah, it's about a six ounce cup here. So I'm gonna do a double shot right into there, again with a 17 gram. So to get my shot going, just gonna press the brew button there. Yeah, we'll have a look at this come. And I'm looking for two ounces, that's about 60 milliliters in my cup. And you see that really nice, lovely crema dripping out there nicely. And take a look at that stuff. This shot's going to run about oh, 20, 25 seconds here. And that should be good there. So right from there, I'm going to turn my steam on right here. It takes about 45 seconds for it to get up to steam temperature. So while that's heating up, I'm going to... Use some nice whole milk. I like the whole milk for its sweet, creamy flavor. I'm using a Rattleware Latte Art Pitcher here. Now, I'm not going to pour any art on this. And I know that for my purposes in this drink, I need to go about, oh, just a half an inch or so below where the spout starts. Um, so here we go. There's our nice espresso. Oh, look at that crema. That really makes nice crema, the aroma's Orphea. Um, now a little trick with this, what you can do is try and hit the steam on or start steaming before the actual steam ready light comes on here. That'll keep the heating element on, maybe give you a little bit more steam power. You don't have to do that. Um, one thing you do want to do is definitely always purge your wand. Now the light just came on, it's ready. So I'm going to purge any moisture out of the wand there. Got that out. Then I'm going to put the tip just below the surface of the milk here and turn my steam on. Now the tip position, that's going to help get a little air in. What I'm going to do is keep adding air until the outside of the pitcher just starts to warm. So I'm maybe just lowering the pitcher a little bit as the milk expands there. Pitcher is just starting to get warm, so I'm going to lower that tip down. Now I'm just going to continue heating the milk without adding more air, and I like that nice roll that's happening there until the outside of the pitcher is just too hot to hold. That's about 140 Fahrenheit. That's what I like. Then we're gonna wipe the wand. Always purge your wand after steaming. And I'll shut my steam off in a minute. We're gonna come back, cool down the boiler. I'll show you how to do that. So there's our milk. And if you've got any excess air bubbles you don't want in that, you just give it a few taps and swirls. And what you're looking for is something that looks a little bit like latex paint in a can. It's got that nice shiny surface. So from there, I'm just gonna do a pour. Now again, I'm not gonna do any art here. I'm gonna pour that right in the center and then just let a little bit of that foam on top. And there you go, a nice, beautiful, flat white. Let me take a taste here. 
Mm, that's delicious. So now you want to cool down the boiler. So I've got another steaming pitcher here. You could do it right into the drip tray if you want. So what I'm going to do, I already turned my steam off. Now I'm just going to open the steam wand and turn on the brew switch until I get a stream of water coming out of the steam wand, full stream. Just like that. And that just cooled down, refilled my boiler. And that's it. Just give everything a little wipe down. So again, nice, beautiful, flat white there with a double shot of espresso. Again, I was using the Maromas Orfea Baratze Sete 270 and the new Gaja Classic Pro with the manual steam wand. Last in our best espresso machine for home list is Breville Espresso Machines. Brewing espresso with the flair is an art form and not a push button solution. This product is targeted to those interested in taking the time to fully enjoy the process of handcrafting their favorite drink. Before purchasing, please know that to produce real espresso, you'll need to have access to freshly ground coffee beans and a burr grinder. This product designed the flair to make the best espresso possible. The result is a strong and beautiful press, made with quality materials like stainless steel and aluminum, that delivers consistent quality without electricity. And cleaning is easy with the market's only detachable brewing head and our unique bottomless 2-in-1 portafilter. The pressure kit is the best offering from Flare. It not only includes the custom-fitted carrying case to ensure safe transport, it also includes a stainless steel tamper. For details, let's watch more. The perfect morning coffee starts with freshly ground beans. A shot of espresso that flows like warm honey silky microphone for that barista quality milk. You can now make third wave specialty coffee at home with ease. With three second heat up time and automatic steam wand. The Bambino Plus. Small in size, big on taste. Compact without compromise.